Occasionally we'll have uh, Tell Me More on the Air. Morning edition is still on the air till 12, remember, from 5 a.m. to 12. And then maybe there's a presidential press conference, and so they'll come and do it here. So they'll, uh, they'll be offering three streams to stations. They can pick and choose what they want. All these consoles and all the studios can be live studios, and everything can be uh, controlled from different consoles. Everything is software driven. You can go, I can assign one of these faders to control a studio down the, down the hall if I want to. Wait, did you say all things considered? An exact studio down the street, oh, okay. thirty uh, down the street, down, okay. down the way. So everything, everything in this building is going through uh, something called Newsplex. So e everything is going through Newsplex. So when, you, so you, we could look at the, the, the rundowns for the shows in here. Everything is integrated with all the stations too. The stations could look at this stuff as well. So what's today's date? Dad? 15. 15. Oh, 15. Oh, okay. So what we're looking at here is morning editions for this morning. The show is structured exactly the same way every day. So morning edition starts at 5 a.m., 7, 9, and 11. It's a two-hour program. The, the beginning of the show at 5 a.m., the host says, I'm Steve Inskeep, I'm Renee Montaigne. Mm -hmm. Today is November 17th. You hear a couple little audio teasers of their stories. And then they say, and now this hour's news. Now we're exactly one minute past the hour. There's a newscast for two minutes and 59 seconds. Then the newsreader says, this is NPR. Now we're four minutes past the hour. And stations can drop us at that point and do local news, weather, traffic. But we continue to read the news until 6.30 past the hour. There's a funny credit in there. And then we're at the A segment at the top of each hour. Every day is 8.59. So today... We had a piece that was 4.53 and a piece at 3.56, and that comes to 8.49. And then there'll be 10 seconds of music that the director would pick. And then we're at 19 minutes past the hour. And every segment is structured just like that. So stations can drop us. They can buy Marketplace's Morning Report and stick it at the end of the hour. They can buy Writer's Almanac from American Public Media. They can produce their own news features and drop it into the show at different spots. So wherever you are, you're not hearing this two-hour news magazine unless you live in a very rural area that doesn't have the ability to produce their own content. So the shows are very, very flexible. Some stations will buy a BBC feature and stick it in there. So it's very hard to prevent to listen to 15 hours of feature. When the show is live, there's a director who sits over there, an engineer over here. The director's running the clock. So if the first segment of morning edition was up there, the top clock would say 8.59. If the next first story was 4.30, the bottom clock would say 4.30. It's all counting down to zero and they're resetting the clock. The director's telling the engineer to open individual host microphones and also to start any pre-recorded material. Everything's going to be queued up from here and going through there. So you must hit the time first. And morning edition especially goes on the air from 5 a.m. and it, then it's repeated until 12 noon. So that show is updated quite a lot. All can consider it's updated, but the, the breaking news usually is in the morning. What about the back positions? So when, when th these studios are also used for interviews. So if somebody was going to be interviewed, the host would be in there. The interviewee could be any place, obviously. And there's an engineer here, and then two people back there. One would be the editor, and one would be the producer. And because they're producing everything for time, pretty much before they come in here, they know where in the show it's going to be, and this is how long it's going to be. So they'll book 20 minutes, and they'll know the piece is going to run four and a half minutes. And those people are watching the clock. They're going to run a, a running clock from starting from zero. And so they know, they can make a notation that nothing worth keeping happen in the first seven minutes, but the meat of the interview was from 12.20 to 14.05, and they can make a little notation so you can go back and edit it pretty quickly. Because remember, turnaround time sometimes is really fast. And I would assume you'd keep that whole 20-minute chunk forever. No. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, because it's useless unless you can find it. I mean, there is some thought about keeping everything, but just in the old days, you couldn't do it because it would take There's some talk about keeping stuff, but it's 
that's great. It's only useful if you can find it. So, you know, when you have more better voice recognition software, it may be useful, but just to keep stuff. But sometimes where people come in and give you give information or give you stuff, you know. Yeah. Somebody who's involved in Afghanistan is a few of those who information with you about people and give you historically, but not for air, because of the background, you know. We keep that, so we don't do that. 